Hello, this is Jen Jeff here. We are back with Ymir, and this is the army that went out there, had a bunch of stuff. I brought it back last night, unloaded everything, <laughs> set it to go back out again, and um, did a trade deal with the um, Gene Bon, and he wants me to drop this. I sold him some gold bars, five for 1500 and it requires I drop it off directly at Pork 2. I believe it's Pork 2. Yeah, Pork 2. And this gets around the waste of the trade, but um, yeah, that's a <laughs> all movement one way trip, so I'm going to be doing this <clears throat> with the Exploration Army. And to have it recharge, it's going to. Oh, it might be able to do it right now. Ah, balls. I am five off. Boy, that's an awkward route. Oh, what I'll do is I'll recharge it for... We'll do it at the end of the episode. It should have enough. Although the route will be slightly different than straight through because that's minus four, minus five, minus four, minus four, minus nine, minus fifteen. We could probably do it, but I'm going to have it sit here for a little bit while we do this episode. And I'm going to make sure it works. This so is at plus 70. It's been a little bit uh, slow in some ways. For various reasons. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at the capital. Getting some barley, getting some flax. Rum is still being sold. The price for rum has gone down. That is unfortunate. I bought a bunch of apples and carrots with the idea of selling them, hoping they'd be kind of like bananas and rice and beans and everything. But um, they haven't been, so... Oh. Bananas and beans have been available again. Okay, no. Uh, pfft. cancel. Buy 20 <laughs> for 15. When the, uh, recurring order, when stocks are inferior to 20, send order. That'll be expensive, but we're doing that. Uh, bananas. This isn't getting triggered simply because he's. We've set it for 15 and he's selling it for 20. Where'd my money just go? Did they. Did. What? I had 700. Oh, maybe it's like we're gonna take the money to do that now. Uh. Do we have beans? No, nope, we still only have that many beans, so I don't know where my money just went. That is unfortunate, because I didn't just buy anything. So it must have just taken it out for that order when it's ready. Yeah, because we're there now. Okay, that is um, hmm, not necessarily what I was expecting. I've got... 10 bananas in stock. Can I afford to buy those? No. No, de no, de no, de no, de. Can I? Yes. I could take this because he's got uh, 1,500 coins for me. For those five gold ingots, which I have sitting right here. Technically, I have 55, <laughs> but I only own 47%. Yay. So, yeah, that's expensive. Uh, buy, trade, let me see. Mm, there's no sugar cane. No sugar cane. Because what they're doing is they're selling rum for way too much. And the split is just because of the waste and everything. It's just forget it. I'm not buying it at these prices. 
but I will buy the uh, cane sugar required to make it. But they, some people aren't selling the cane sugar. Speaking of that, that's probably why people aren't necessarily buying the beer. Because they're demanding it for less than it costs to make. Because the local price here is six. And let's look at this. Uh, well, we have to go into Vicoria to look at it. Pause. Okay, we're in. So, you'll pick this. Each one requires 1.5 and then half a pottery. So, if I bring up a calculator. Calculator! And drag you over there. So, pottery costs. Uh, where is pottery? Pottery costs me two to get. So, we're looking at a price of one already. So, one. Uh, what's the price for barley? One. So, 1.5. 1 1.5 1 .5 plus one. That's 2.5, the price of water, which requires 0.3, so 0.3, no, that's 2.5 plus 0.3, calculator, bad. Okay, so that costs 2.8 in just raw resources, and then for the pigs to get paid, they're going to charge one additional at least. These are charging like two. They're charging a lot. So that's, um, let's just say we're doing it at the rate they're doing it, which is income earned by each worker, 2.12. So we're looking at 2.8 plus 2.12, and that's a cost of 4.92. And they're demanding that it gets sold to them for four. So, no. No. This is a negative. This isn't going to happen. Just isn't going to happen. What I'd rather do is just sell barley for like two or three. If people buy that, because barley's dirt cheap, that's papyrus. Why is the papyrus farm active? Stop it! Stop it! Unprofitable. No kidding. I can't use it for anything yet. <clears throat> so I'd rather just sell the barley for like two because it's still making an absurd amount of money. Even just selling it at two. Even taking into account waste, because it's just so dirt cheap anyway. So that's probably what I'll do, is I'll just put a hundred barley up on the market for two. <clears throat> do I have any barley up on the market? No. Can I sell it for 2.5? 2.5? I can! <laughs> so let's just put 50 up on the market for 2.5 and... Let's see if people buy it. Two. Two coins. Okay, so it lets you put 2.5 in there, but you can't actually put 2.5. They just become a local price of one. Local price of one. So let's see if people buy it. And that is like my suggestion for people wanting to buy beer. Don't buy beer. You're not going to buy it for four. You might get it for ten. And then that's reasonable. Because like the rum is selling for eighteen. So if you get ten and eighteen that's okay. And like six. 
If they're selling it for 10 and you're selling it for 18, that's a decent enough spread. But yeah, how much spare copper do I have? Not much, we're not getting a huge amount more. Yeah, the rummery won't have any sugar cane. I'll buy sugar cane, but uh... Yeah. Dates. Sell 50 at 20. Still up there. I might have to sell it for 15. Yeah, okay. Well, can I cancel this? Right, let's see. Trade. Dates, 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 to dates, to dates. Cancel trade offer. Do I lose money? No, I don't. So, 50 for 15. Don't buy. Sell. And let's see. Actually, let's just drop it straight down to 20, uh, 10, and let's see if people buy it. Because that's still plenty of profit, too. Then we'll just slowly increase the price and see what people are willing to buy it for. How's our charcoal supply? We're getting bonus charcoal now because you have simply run out of stuff to uh, work on. I'm tempted just to put this foundry to sleep. But I don't think I'll have to do that. So let's back out. And let's see. Have you grown? You have now 1.7. So new trade. Copper ore. Two. Send order. New trade route open. Why is this being offered? Go away. Because I think, yeah, this place is already getting its beer. Not making money on that trade route. Oh! Tin ore at plus point two. <laughs> Beautiful! Point two. A whole whopping point two. Uh, plus four population. You're using up your charcoal on your own, which is special. You're using up your flax. Chickpeas, chickpeas, chickpeas. I think I'll send chickpeas to swine pigs. Uh, you do have cargo. Which probably tells me you fucked up somewhere. Oh, we actually have an unemployed inactive here. That's interesting. Oh well, you can still stay there. Hmm. Hmm. Plus 1.6. Okay, so, trade. Wrong button. New route. Chickpeas. One. Send. New trade route. Pick up those chickpeas. From Megalos. Open. This will give them the third food group, which boosts health to the extent that they will grow faster. But we will jump cut through this loading screen. Alrighty, we've loaded. I'm going to buy all the tin ore for the time being. We do have lots of buffalo and lots of camels. So we're going to expand these farms a little bit. We'll do the buffalo first. Because I just kind of want to see how much stuff this can handle. 
15 maybe? Now we got 15. Ah, oh, we got up to 16 now. Eighteen. Okay, so they can handle a lot. I get some more camels. It can handle a lot more than I was necessarily anticipating. You guys are making clay. I'm not upgrading you at the moment. And you do have your chickpeas. So you, limited distribution, one chickpeas. And that will boost the health because that is the third food group and grow faster. And heck, we'll also just throw in a doctor. No, we can't. We used up all the wood. So we won't throw in a doctor. Alrighty. And we'll, pr we'll push our income even lower. Yay! Yeah. Yada yada. Yeah. yeah, Tutra still has a load of population doing bugger all. So in the future in the near future, actually. We'll be putting all the cloth making in here. Not the cloth making, but the um, textiles manufacturing in here. And then sending all the textiles to Vicoria to be made into clothing, which will be sold elsewhere. Because Tutra has a lot of inactive people that could be doing something useful, but are just simply not doing anything useful. And then... Um, yeah, I don't like that. We have loads of axes here. That is good. That is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop back into the capital, and then after that we're going to move the gold over and accept the trade offer. Uh, once you've already got it loaded in, it's a lot faster. One thing that would be a really good idea, although I don't know if the game engine allows it, when you're on the world map, if the game is just loading all the stuff all the your cities in in the background so that way when you go to go into a city it's already there and you don't and it doesn't have to load it let's just kind of like cache it in memory hmm what is this this takes Mud, wood, stone, axes. I think I'll send a bunch of this stuff to the south, and we'll get them a bunch of a bunch of houses. Yes, yes, but first this, because I can use the money. I'm not gonna lie, I can really use the money. And since you're not doing anything, you can start doing copper until the tin comes back. That gets them working on something, which is always good. Uh, you guys are going to grab 50 axes. Everything's alphabetical now, I need to remember that. Before it wasn't. 50 axes. 50 mud. I don't own the mud, so I have to buy it. Piss. Same thing with the stone. I'm not going to own the stone, so I'm going to have to buy the stone. And what was the last thing? The wood. I highly doubt I own that either. 
You can't even carry it all, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in debt. Yeah, I know. And I'll be deeper in debt in a moment. Wood. 50. And drop that down here. Unload. Head back up north. You... You definitely do have the movement now, so you're going to load up with the gold. And now we shall start our perilous journey to deliver this gold. Each one is 300 coins <laughs> in trade value, so... This is not something you want to uh, have go wrong. Okay, dangerous part of the route done. We are now in friendly claim territory. Oh, I've got to go all the way around still? Because these guys have never accepted my trade agreement. No, oh, he's inactive, that would be why. It's really sad when people go inactive. But they didn't get their optimal situation, and so therefore, they're not happy. Now we'll look at this, what this capital, the guy's capital looks like too while we're here. So unload. <sighs> I will go let him know. Gold is unloaded. in pork pork 2 as requested we will now accept this because that is the order I always do it in and there we go and we'll be no nosy and look at it too because this is a big city alrighty we are in loaded oh he's upgraded all these things I think I've upgraded those too. He's got cotton. Lots of cotton. Look at all the wheat. And there's his wineries over here. He's done the same thing I was doing. Because everyone's selling rum for way too much money. <clears throat> so he bought sugar cane. Uh, that's funny. And his city on the coast. Everybody gets a nice view when they wake up in the morning. Oof, I hope he had the space. Oh yeah, he had the space. I saw this, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Look at all the leather clothing he's got stacked up. And he's got a lot of copper ore, too. But he's only got two foundries to my four. At least that's the only two founders I saw. They could be elsewhere on the map, too. He's got a bunch of farms follow for the time being. Yeah, he's got... He's got more sugar cane. Now I need people to put up more sugar cane for sale. So yeah, there we go. Dropped off. We're no longer in debt with the treasury. And let's move this guy. I might be able to get him back over here. No. How about you? I can move through you? I can. How much movement do you have? You're not going to make it over there. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Ashford. Because this guy is active. And you're going to encamp. On Ashford. 
There we go. Oh, this place is independent now. Can this place move? Can you move? Yes. So you're going to start moving down. Because I'm pretty sure there's someone who I've got a movement treaty through. You? No. You? No. You? No. Oh, one of these two. Seems a bit weird, but some of these... This Greg is not in there anymore. So it seems like the political situation down here has changed. Pretty dramatically all of a sudden. And not a huge amount of time. Gotta be careful to avoid running into things that will kill me. Because any one of these barbarian armies would finish this unit off. Yeah, you're not actually going to reach any place you can move through. Nature provides. Cool. Agricultural food. Lettuce. Not a huge big deal. Interesting place. Uh... Trade agreement, rite of passage, trade agreement, rite of passage. Send. Let's look at this guy's little capital. In its interesting spot in the desert. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.